Rockville College First 15 Rugby is brought to you in association with Land Rover, St Andrews and Timidu Boys. And the trophies come out accompanying who have produced 19 All Blacks. And now St Andrews, relatively modest one win and four losses, established back in 1917. 1,590 on the roll. Robertson gets play underway and they just about secured ball from the kickoff for themselves. So we'll come back for the knock on 68 metres back at least. And they get the throw at the line out. Huge play. Williamson with the throw. Going in with the run and now the drive. Timothy boys and the try. Go back to the 50-22. And then the perfect execution off a set play. And Zach Parkin, the try scorer. Oh, it was a beautiful line out. Great take, shift ball. And then they just set up the ruck and drove it, uh, sorry, the ball and drove it really well. Body height was spot, spot on. And unfortunately for St. Andrews, they just couldn't stop that. It was too set up too well. Did right. Yeah, and it was an absolute cracker as we see him nudge for, nudge for goal as well. And oh! Over she goes. Just clipping the upright. Goldingham. No one of the eight nine play, but the pressure from St Andrews in defence. And an advantage as well. There a chance for a try down the left side after putting, creating the pressure. And they hit back with a try of their own in the left-hand corner. St Andrews. Oh, great D. The scrum screwed just a touch. Tufts has gone over in the corner. Well, he's went against the screw and tried to run it out. And they got right over the ball early. It was fantastic work. From Talti, the nine. There it is there. He's turned it over straight away. Look at the hands on the ball. He's done a great job. There's the turnover and then straight in. It was Tulsa and he scored a great try in the corner. Mecklen Robertson. How about that from a long way up? Great camera angle too. Beautiful. done touch finder hasn't quite gone out so Lufu on the return he's scanning the defense line off loads for Foster Butterfield oh, loses the ball in the tackle sit Milne, Clement, dummied on the inside. Two runners coming back against the grain. Now Angus Hyde. Nice and direct. Ross. Out from acting half as Milne into the backfield with a shot and go. Ned Milne. Terrific run from the halfback. Look at the field position for Tim they lose it. Just looked up, saw no one in front of him. Great right foot step. 
And away he went. He held the ball in two hands. And the defence just held off. A great tackle there from Rufu. The fullback coming in and hit him nice and hard. And just unfortunately, he was trying to put the ball Ouch. back, Milne, and lost it forward. Fine! So a defensive Six. assignment now for St Andrews. Told to another eight, nine play, then a cutout. And Foster with a lovely right foot step, then a left foot step, his ankle tapped. Gee, he's been good today, the second five. Tati keeps the ball alive in the tackle. Now Blackwood. Need the ball now. Now yeah, they look at the left edge, Foster with a double pump. And now they're alive. What a try, what a play. Absolutely beautiful. Great hands, picking the right guy to hit to. That pass here was an absolute peach. And then it was straight out to speed. Xavier Bex, well, he just put the hammer down. A great pass back inside too. And Rufu, right under the dot, straight in front of his classmates. And what a great try. From one end of the field to the other. They've been looking like... No, I tell you what, the kid Foster can play. And he just. <laughs> well, don't you love seeing wingers just take off? Well, look at this. He just got the ball, Bex, and he was gone. And did the right decision back inside. And that was a really nicely taken try. As they go higher up, you get the ball five metres out and you kick it. <laughs> you know, they're encouraged like that to run. Express themselves, offload in the tackle, take a few risks. There's another long ball, and they're going to go again down the left edge. Rufu. And that ball is a return ball back on the inside for Butterfield. And they are enjoying themselves, these two teams. That's one of the great no tries of the 2022 season. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Lucas Tarangi, you're going to have to come back, mate, and scrum. You're not allowed that one. But look at the pace, and the best part is decision-making with a beautiful pass back inside. And unfortunately, just the last pass, and Telti just couldn't quite hang on to it. He tore into it as we see another kick down the touch, not finding the outline. So opportunity here again. Refue, Butterfield. It's away from the first defeat of Butterfield. A little trip. Timidu try to keep the ball alive and start their own counter attack now. Clement. Stop. But it's isn't it? And it's all out of these guys being really keen to attack. It was a beautiful fiend. Unfortunately, his kick was just a wee bit short. Okay, offside, seven. We're going to chance their arm. Blackwood out in front of the post. Tulti comes back the right side of the tree. Between the fingers. It's one of the smallest players on the park. Plenty of determination. Plenty of ticker. Two big defenders in between both of them. Thing they've tapped and gone fast just about every penalty they've had. And it's proved to be absolutely outstanding thing to do and tell you why he's just taken an opportunity he's gone through two defenders he scored right under the dot and going into half time with three minutes to go that is exactly what the St Andrews side will be after unfortunately just going in between the eight and the nine that, that's all in I'm strong Ravula again, Holden was the target. St Andrews, Foster, this is Butterfield. One more! Offloads the ball and the tackle. Roots in a little two on one and he finds space for Bradley. Bradley down the runners, they're not going to run him down. What a fabulous try from St Andrews. 
These last two minutes have been on fire. And again, it's a try that came from deep. But the one bit for me that was outstanding was this here by Butterfield. Look at the offload, out the back of the hand. And then Rufu did the right thing, just draw it past, and that's just straight out pace from the winger. Absolutely outstanding work by Max Bradley. And a good score in the corner. Here it is here. Look at the offload here. Out the back of the hand. Fullback heading at a pace. Draw and pass. And then it was just straight out wheels. Look at that. Down the touch. You'll be telling everyone about that all year. Great stuff. And they have come back in the best way possible. It has been a spectacular and entertaining opening 35 minutes with St Andrews thoroughly deserving their lead over Timidu boys by 26 points to 10. Ficken in Jersey 17. And St Andrews called on to do some big defence now. As Timidu direct in their attack. Using their big men. So another pick and go. Keep an eye on Milne. And then the try is scored. So very patient. Very deliberate. Oh boy, she's going to be a different approach this half. Well, that was a stark contrast to some of the tries we saw <laughs> in the first half with Timidu boys muscling up. Park and gets a double. Well, they're just with the kick to come from Clement. Lovely nudge. Uh, 26 7. Clean up to the line. Nice hole from Hyde. Beautiful. Beautiful hole running from Hyde in the midfield. Then they can see the penalty. A couple of quick short balls. And then Angus Hyde flying onto it. Milne. Takes a few metres. Milne is into the backfield. Trying to get away from Rufio. Will recycle the ball if he can on the 22. Well, it was a great wee break too, but unfortunately, once again, just ran away from his support. And the two players straining over the ball. Tom Butterfield at 13 in particular. Here he is here. He worked beautiful. We break. And the tackle right around the boots. And then look at that. Two and 14. Sorry, 13 and four straight over the ball. To a loose ball. Clement. Quick hands for Latu. Just onto the field. And Jersey 20. Now they keep the ball alive. Tofar. Good on that left edge. Too many boys. Ficken, the replacement front rower. Parkin, first receiver, cut out, cut out balls, and now down the right edge, Ross. Looking for some space, Ross with a bag of left hand fin. Off loves the ball and the tackle. Can they keep him up, St Andrews? There was a try for all the money. Great scrambling in defence from St Andrews. He set up a drive. Zach Parkin. Already got a double sitting. In the back now breaks away. Fins Fins off the ref, loses the ball in the tackle. Nice job, Blythe. What a carry. They're outside their own corner now. And the ball goes down. We're coming back for a penalty. Armstrong Ravula with a long ball out the back for Rufio. Oh, and then the ball is put down by Butterfield. Oh, we've seen the both times the quick tap, the last pass. Just how do we look at the line? Here's the pass here, just a little bit out in front of him and unfortunately couldn't be taken. He's had such a great game too, Tom Butterfield. 
he's been outstanding with ball in hand. Clement. Latu. Foster. And another tackle. Stopping Latu. And a penalty advantage as well. Off another big defensive play. Armstrong, the Ravuda. Opens him up now. And a fabulous try for Rufu, who deserves it given his effort today. Yeah, beautiful defence. And once again, just good decisions from the big number, other small numbers to let the big numbers score. He did a great job, job there, Lemon. Just a draw and pass and give it away to Tom Rufu. And that is a beautiful try. Well done. And it just came from great defence from the St Andrews team. Timmery boys trying to move the ball. And this lad here, well, he deserves his two tries. He's been dangerous from fullback. Been keen to get his hands um, on the ball. At the moment. And he's and made half. some really good decisions with ball in hand. Two and a half left. So the boy Will Lemon in Jersey 22. He's only year 11. His first year in the first 15. Put onto the game, put into the game late three enormous plays that had huge impacts for his team the conversion is outstanding and Zach Parkin for Goldie and jumping in front of the line out Timothy boys high stolen by Cameron Blackwood the co-captain and uh, much scale will have the final say. And a popular and much needed win for St Andrews. They came into this game with just one win and four losses in the competition. They record their second win of the season and they did it in spectacular form.